We have to solve this equation. Um, it's a cubic equation because you have a 3 here. Generally, when you have an equation like this, which has 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, the way to go is factor by grouping. However, in this case, uh, it's probably not going to work. So what we'll do is we'll use something called the rational roots theorem. This will give us the possible rational roots of this equation. So we'll start by looking at the number 13. So here. And we'll look at the factors of 13. So plus or minus 1, plus or minus 13. Then we're going to divide this by the factors of the number that's here. So in this case, that number is 1. So plus or minus 1. So this should give us plus or minus 1 over plus or minus 1 is plus or minus 1. Plus or minus 13 over plus or minus 1 is plus or minus 13. All right. So after we perform this step, we have to start checking these numbers. So let's start by checking the number 1. Usually you want to start with 1 and negative 1 because they usually work. Um, so let's check 1. So when you check 1, you have to use what's called synthetic division. You don't have to, but it's best to. So you write down the 1, and then you write down the coefficients of your original equation. So in this case, it's 1, negative 5, 17, and negative 13. And then you draw a line. All right, the first step is to take the 1 and just bring it down, so 1. Then you multiply this number by this number. So 1 times 1 is 1, and you write the answer here. Then you add negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. And then you multiply. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Repeat. You add, you get 13. And you multiply the 13 by the 1 again. And that gives you 13. In this case, we get a remainder of 0. At this point, we can rejoice because we have found a root. So 1 is a root. It also means that x minus 1 is a factor. Alright, so the next thing that people usually do is they use this to write down another equation. So we're skipping a lot of steps here, but that, that's okay. Alright, so here to write this down, what you do is you look at the degree of the original equation. So the original equation had an x cubed, and 3 was the biggest number, so it was degree 3. So then you start at 1 less. So you start at 1 less. So we'll start at 2. So this will be 1 times x squared, because that's 1 less than 3, minus 4x plus 13 equals 0. So this is kind of hard to solve. Uh, it's hard to factor in your head. So what we'll do is use the quadratic formula. So quadratic formula. In this case, a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 13. So the quadratic formula says that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. All right, so let's plug everything in carefully. So x is, let's see, negative, negative 4, that's just 4, plus or minus square root. b squared will be 16, because it's negative 4, minus 4ac. I never skip uh, this step here. I always plug them in, because I'm always worried about making a mistake. So then it's 2 times 1. All right, to finish, we'll just simplify this. So it should be pretty easy, I think. So let's see, so x is 4 plus or minus square root of 16, let's think, 4 times 13, so 13 times 4, old school, we don't have calculators, so 4 times 3 is 12, you carry the 1, 4 times 1 is 4, 52, so minus 52 all over 2. So we got to keep going and simplify this, so let's see, so x is then equal to 4 plus or minus 16 minus 52, is negative 36, and you divide all of this by 2. So this is 4 plus or minus 6i. The square root of 36 is 6, and you have a negative sign here, so you're going to get an i. This is all over 2. To finish, just break it up. So this is actually going to be x equals 4 over 2 plus or minus 6i over 2. 
So that's 2 plus or minus 3i. And so those are the other two roots. So the final answer is roots. Well, the first one we found was 1 via synthetic division. And the other two are 2 plus 3i and 2 minus 3i. And that's it. That's how you use the rational roots theorem to solve an equation. This one was actually pretty easy. Uh, sometimes they can be harder. For example, if it was a quartic equation, uh, a polynomial equation of degree 4, uh, it would have been a lot longer.